Okay guys, today we're going to take a look at uh, stop loss take profit on the buy and the sell side. So the first thing that we need to be looking at here is uh, what exchange we're on, what our pairs are, and remember you can look at your different pairs by coming over here to this side and you've got all your starting pairs. In Binance we've got BNB, USDT, ETH, BTC, and then simply by whatever you're clicked on here, you'll start to see these pairs come up. And then any of the pairs that you click a star to there, they'll end up in your favorites. Okay? So then what we're going to do is we're going to do an example of buying one ETH. And then we're going to do an example of selling one ETH using the set by stop loss take profit set sell stop loss take profit okay let me clear the screen here for you just for a second and then uh, so here's where I'm gonna be working at right here and the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna set your price so we're just gonna buy we're just gonna buy one ETH and we're gonna come up here to the order book and we can take a look at that if we set a price of 123.58 okay we've got a lot of sell prices up here for a little bit higher so if we want this to execute right away then we would need to at least match one of those prices if we want it to go immediately okay so for this example what I would probably do is just come over here and you can see how it says 123.58 in here. Let's say that I just wanted it to just say 90. Okay. Once I click 90 up here in the order book, all right, it's going to go ahead and fill that amount in. Now what I've got to do is just go ahead and set my amount. So I'm just going to do one ETH, and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click Set by Stop Loss. All right. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and take these two settings away here for you guys just so we can start to really make this simple. Alright, so I've got one ETH set at 123.90. Now, if I want to go ahead and set this so that it's going to buy this ETH and then I want to just leave this order after I buy this Ethereum and I want to go ahead and just set it so that it's going to take profit whether I'm sleeping or looking at it is just going to sell it for a higher price and give me some profit I can just turn on take profit if I w if I know that Ethereum is going up and I want to get my profit immediately I can set this percentage for a low price for a low percent or maybe you deciding that you're going to hold that Ethereum for whatever amount of time. So you might want to come down here and go 25%. In this case, Ethereum would have to get up to 154.87 for this to execute. But in that case, you can see that your profit over here would be over $30. Okay? And you can also set a new target here so that if you want to sell half of it for 24%, and you want to sell the other half for a 75% profit, then you can do that also. Okay, so that kind of splits your your sales here on your take profit side. Now, what you can also do is protect this order by setting a stop loss. And so your stop loss is going to be a little bit lower than what you bought it for. So in this case, I'm going to protect it with a 5% stop loss. Okay, I bought it at 123. And so my stop loss is going to protect me if Ethereum all of a sudden drops. Okay. And it's going to sell out so that I'm not losing too much money. In this case, I would lose about $6. Also, one thing that I can do to make this a little bit more effective is I can turn on this trailing stop. And what this does is this will move this price right here up about 10%. So let's say that Ethereum is starting to go up, okay? Then it'll, it'll kind of move this up a little bit also, 
Okay, so the goal here is to buy the Ethereum for a good price, sell it for a much better price and make a profit, set a stop loss that is going to protect us in case Ethereum goes down. But if Ethereum starts to go back up, this, this stop loss here with a trailing stop will automatically raise this price automatically for us about 10%. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Next, we're going to take a look at set sell, stop loss, take profit.